What's up guys, I thought I would do a quick video tutorial on how to download and install the Seamless Transition. So go ahead and download it after you bought it. This takes quite a little bit of time for my computer, I'm not sure why. Okay, so now we got it downloaded, go ahead and open your download. This archive utility is going to unzip it so that you get a folder. And boom, there's the uh, zip file and the new folder. Go ahead and move that folder into your documents as such. Um, and since I already downloaded them, I have two copies, but uh, I just renamed this one to Seamless Transition it's Premiere Putt Pro. Oh my gosh, I just misspelled transitions. Would you look at that on my old one? But we're going to keep it anyways. I like the old one. I'm going to delete it just because I already have the folder. But this, this little bonus step right here, just make sure the clip that you're trying to work on matches the transition frame size. Go ahead and go up to sequence, sequence settings, and this will tell you what frame size the video you shot is. This one is 1920 by 1080. And so I would go ahead and go into my new folder, go into the transitions and make sure that I open the 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080. So that's just a quick video on how to see what frame size your video clip is. This will help you out later. First step is going to be to open that new folder you just put into your documents. So go ahead and go into your documents, go to the folder and open the transitions folder. Go ahead and open the Premiere file that matches the sequence of your clip. So this one is 1920 by 1080. That is the clip I am trying to edit in Premiere Pro. If the two do not match perfectly, the transitions will not work. First time you open it, this uh, screen is going to pop up. Go ahead and just follow my mouse. Delete the one in the backspace. Click OK. Next, another pop-up is going to appear and you need to click on OK on that one as well. This allows the computer to find the transitions. Wait for Premiere to load the media, the transitions. After that is complete, go ahead and close this Premiere project. Close Premiere completely. Now, go ahead and open up a new project in Premiere Pro. Import a clip. All right, so you got your clip open in Premiere Pro. Now you're ready to drag the transitions from the transitions folder with the appropriate frame size into a new bin. Boom, just like so. Go ahead and click OK to import entire project. Give it a few seconds and you're ready to go. Your files have now been imported and you are ready to drag and drop the transitions onto your cuts. Before you're ready to use the transitions, there's two more little things you have to turn off. So this button right here, this button right here, you need to make sure it's white and then turn off your first video layer. And now your transition should work. Just drag and drop them on and voila. Boom. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks again.